Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to enable binary packages here on Gen 2. Now recently, I made a video going over some of the changes that the Gen 2 devs have decided to make and they actually made a repository for binary packages. So I haven't enabled anything yet. Um, I haven't even really looked at the wiki yet. And typically when I do one of these sort of videos, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and do it, reverse it, and then do it again on camera for you guys. But in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do it for the first time. I have not looked at the wiki. I have not done anything. I don't know if this you know this is going to break or anything like that i'm just going to follow the directions here on the uh, gen 2 website and hopefully i get it right now the reason i really want to do this is simply because um there are like i said in, in a previous video there are several packages that take forever in a day to compile so if i can speed some of those things up then uh, obviously this would benefit me now um, for you guys that run just a pure sourced base gen 2 system you don't have to enable binary packages um, if you want just binary packages um, then this video might help you out so here we are we're on the gen 2 website here and then um, of course the very first thing um, on top of the website here is Gen2 goes binary. So let's click this link. If I can get my mouse on there. I'm using a new trackball mouse, so uh, bear with me a little bit, guys. I'm, I'm trying to um, figure out how to uh, properly use this thing. Um, but so right here, how can I set up my? How can I set up any existing Gen2 installation to use these packages? Well. There's some quick setup instructions. Um, so let's click that, and I'm going to open that link in a tab. Uh, quick setup instructions for the most common cases can be found in our wiki. In short, you need to create a configuration file in etc portage bin repos.conf. In addition, we have a rather neat package binary package guide on our wiki that goes into much more detail. So let's go ahead and open up these, okay? And then, uh, so we do that. And I don't think I need to do really anything else because everything else is pretty much already set up for us um, in the um, make. So here we go, binary package quick start. Uh, Gen2 systematically provides binary packages throughout the Gen2 binary package repo. Um, okay, we don't care. Don't really care. We need to figure out how to configure this thing, though. Files in the directory of etc portage bin repos tell portage where to find bin packages. New stage 3 files already come with suitable bin package configuration. In, the, in existing installations, it will need to be added. Using a local Gen2 mirror is highly recommended to reduce server load and to speed up downloads on the local end. Okay, so it looks like we just kind of need a, 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 a to to make this uh, Gen2 bin host file and uh, pretty much just give it a give it a mirror. That um, that's what I'm thinking we need to do. Corresponding, but have a look. Okay, the sync. Okay. Um, so this is the emerge default, uh, type of stuff. Merging packages, get bin package app. Okay. So that's how you get the binary package right there. Okay. System update. Okay. This doesn't look that hard. So it looks like the only thing that we really have to do is just, we need to, um, we need to copy over, uh, one of these things right here. Um, and, uh, I guess we just need to use a local Gen2 mirror to, uh, to speed this thing up a little bit, but this does not look tough at all. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and get 
a terminal open here and I'm gonna go ahead and get that full screen for you guys um might have to now I'm pretty sure we can read it like this so I'm gonna go ahead and su into root okay and then we're gonna do neovim etc it's portage bin repos dot conf okay that's that's gonna be a directory so make directory minus p etc portage um bin bin repos dot conf okay so we did that now we do nvim etc portage bin repos dot conf gen2 bin host dot conf okay and we just need to write this stuff right here so bin host uh priority yeah priority 9999 i don't know i don't know what that is um i'm sure one of you guys in the comments will let me know you guys seem pretty pretty damn intelligent about gen 2 more than i am um some of this stuff i kind of fumble around with and I, i've had you guys are awesome um specifically the ones that have ran gen 2 for a very long time so priority, uh, that's about right, <laughs> equals 9999, nine, nine. and then sync URI equals, and this is where we're going to put the, uh, put the local, uh, uh, the local mirror here. Um, contains, okay, so we need to get... A local mirror so we're going to do a, a North America um, mirror here and I want something kind of semi fast right we don't we don't want something that's super slow um let's find something that's kind of close to me but that's not going to be overran um don't want that one or See that seemed a little that seemed a little slow. I don't I don't want nothing super slow. So I'm gonna test this out. Okay. That one seemed that one seemed okay. That one seemed alright. So we're just gonna copy that link. Right. Okay. Is this how I do it? Um trying to figure this out releases so it's gen 2 releases amd 64 bin packages 17.1 oh you know what we need to check this repo to make sure so it's going to be release it uh gen 2 releases amd 64 okay i just want to verify so we're going to do releases amd 64 there's bin packages right there so we already know and it's going to be 17.1 right because that's our profile um that we are running so 17.1 or dot one however you say it and then it's going to be x86 hyphen 64 so uh x86 hyphen or yeah hyphen 64 okay that looks good just gonna write that out there that looks real good um do i need to do anything else Something right here that says futures, but this is for verification. This is package signature verification. Um, I don't know if I need to actually use this. 
Actually, you might actually have to do this. Uh, once binary packages have have to be downloaded, Emerge will automatically run the Gen 2 Trust tool known as Get Get UTO. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and add let's go ahead and add that stuff in. So NVIM etc portage. Um, it is going to be make.com. And then under features here, we put it right here. We put bin package request signatures or signature. Bin package request signature. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Um, emerge default ops below are some useful settings that can be applied. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So this is pretty cool. This is this is really neat. So I kind of understand this. Um, you see this emerge default ops. If you're one of these people that want to just have binary packages, you could probably just do that because look if we open up our uh, make configuration file and right here it says uh emerge default ops well you see my emerge default ops right here right mine is ask and then verbose because i always want verbose and i always want ask but if i wanted to automatically always get the binary packages then i can just put this right here get bin package so if i put this hyphen hyphen get bin package right here it will default to getting the binary package rather than the source package now of course myself i'm going to keep it as default I, I don't really care about getting um only the binary stuff i will get the binary packages um on my own um, but just understand that if you wanted just binary stuff and not source based, then uh, you could definitely do that right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit it. And do I need to do anything else? I imagine what I need to do is um, update um, like emerge sync and stuff, right? Like let's let's go ahead and sync this because I, I want to make sure that it, it does everything that it needs to do and is supposed to do here. Okay. Um, I guess let's go ahead and try to, uh, try to get a binary package. Okay. So this is how you would do it right here. So you got to give it the uh, the minus G option, okay? Um, and then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to, to install Nano. You can see I don't have Nano here on the system, okay? So we're going to install Nano, but I'm going to install it as a binary package just to verify that the binary uh, stuff is uh, it's working correctly, okay? So we're going to do a merge, and it's A, B, G. But I can just put G because mine defaults to A and B. So, app, editors, nano. So there's the key ring that it's automatically going to do for us. So I imported some, uh, imported some keys. That's awesome. Calculating dependencies. Okay, okay. See how fast this installs. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. That's quick. That is holy crap. Okay. Um well, let me just verify that the, the, the package works, right? Uh user bin. Does it put everything in user bin? It works, but I want to see where it actually puts the uh puts the package. Is it user local bin? Where? Where is nano? 
Oh, bandana. Okay. That's fair. Alright. So that's... That's really it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's gonna be... Um, there's gonna be some more stuff. Um, so, right here also says... Um, we can, when using the bin host, always use the latest stable version of GCC to avoid errors. Okay. GCC recently just had an update. I don't think I need to uh, redo GCC. Uh, and right here it says, Portage still tries to compile from source. Um, so let me move my head here for you guys. So right here it says, Porter still tries to compile from source, and then this is kind of what you can do to not um, let it compile from source. Okay, if there is a binary package available on bin host, but port is just still not using it, it may be because of a mismatch between the use flags that we that were requested to install packages with. Okay, so it just may be a use flag uh, issue. But I'm pretty sure that. Pretty much it. Um, I don't see anything else. So that is it, guys. That is how you set up binary packages here on Gen 2. Super easy. Um, I actually thought that it was going to be a little bit longer than that or, um, you know, just a little bit harder to, to set that up. But that was easy. Um, and it was only like two or three lines of code. Made a directory, made a file updated world and everything and uh that's that's it um just make sure that if you do want to install a binary packages you do have to um use the minus g flag okay whenever you do a emerge so if you guys have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them down below and until next time i want you guys to take care be safe and peace bye guys